Hey, I'm photographer David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. Today I'm going to talk about creating a super wide angle panoramic image by shooting multiple photos and combining them into one. Sometimes you're in a place where you want to take a wide angle photo and the lens you have just isn't quite wide enough to capture the whole scene. With some practice, you can take multiple overlapping photos with almost any lens to make a super wide angle high resolution panorama. In a perfect world, you'll use a tripod with a panoramic head on it like the Nodal Ninja or an automatic system like the Gigapan. But the reality is you're probably out and about shooting other pictures with your DSLR and won't have any of that hardware with you. There are a few things you need to do every time you make a multi-shot panoramic image. Since you're gonna be combining multiple photos, they have to be consistent in both exposure and focus. If one frame is darker or has a different focal plane than the others, the whole thing's gonna be messed up. When taking the pictures, you can hold your camera either horizontally or vertically. I prefer to shoot vertically because then I get more space on the top and bottom of my frame. You also wanna overlap each frame about a third of the way into the next. So keep an eye on the edges of your picture as you move from frame to frame. This last part is super important. What you wanna do when you're taking the pictures is rotate the camera around what's called the nodal point, which is roughly around the middle of the lens. What you don't wanna do is hold the camera out in front of you and just take pictures from side to side. Pretend there's like a stick coming up through the middle of the lens and rotate the lens around that point. What's gonna happen is you'll find that your stitch works much better and you'll have a lot more space to play with when you crop the image at the end. After the images have been shot, you can use a lot of different stitching software to put them all together. I like Photo Merge, which is built into Photoshop, if I have about 20 images or less. If I'm gonna shoot more than that, I'll usually use the Gigapan hardware and their software as well. After I've combined them all, then I'll bring it into Photoshop and do any final toning to make the image really sing how I want. At the end of the day, creating one of these high-res panoramas is really half science and half art. Get all your settings right, but don't forget basic composition rules and make an image that you'll be happy to print and show off at any size you want. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.